Illinois Valley Community Hospital. We care for you. Talking Sports brought to you by the caring professionals at Illinois Valley Community Hospital. IVCH. Wow, another gorgeous day in the Illinois Valley. Glad you're with us today on Talking Sports. And Kevin, this is the time of year. Now we're getting close to the start of uh, fall practice. And of course, football is, is kind of the glamour sport, if you will, in the fall. But there's a lot of uh, young people, both in, in high school and, and the junior college, getting ready for a new year. Yeah, personally, I'm looking forward to the start of the school year. These last couple of weeks get a little boring in the summer. And, and uh, you know, football is right here on the corner. And nothing beats a Friday night uh, covering football. We talk about those dog days of August, you know, and you kind of get to the point where you're thinking, come on, let's get started, let's get it going again. It seems like it's been a long time since May, you know, when we kind of closed up shop with all the spring sports, but now uh, the promise of uh, area football. And this is the time of year when everybody's excited, everybody's optimistic. You know, you, you haven't lost your first three or four games yet, and so everybody's thinking, yeah, let's get it started. And I guess one of the big stories uh, is the is the uh, NCIC Reagan no more, because now you've got the uh, Northern Illinois Big 12 and, and uh, a lot of the area schools, including LaSalle, Peru, will be in that. And then next year you'll see the turnover for Hall, Princeton, and Dota in a new conference for their football season. Yeah, I think the Northern Illinois Big 12 would be great for LP in Ottawa. I mean. You still get the traditional rivalry, rivalry from the Reagan, but then you bring yeah. in some great new schools like Cameland and, and Sycamore and, and, and Morris is still out there, so it's, it'll be good yeah. for them. Play some crossover games. Cameland and DeKalb will be on the uh, LP schedule this year, and they've still got the rivals from the Quad Cities, too, with, with the Alam and East Molina on there. And then, of course, uh, volleyball, and, and last week talked a little bit about the LP program, but there's some other ones. St. Pete's got a new coach this year in volleyball. And Mendota. And Mendota does, too. So uh, girls volleyball, as usual, very strong in the Illinois Valley, and it just seems like that's growing and, and become stronger all the time. And you don't want to forget some of the other things because you got cross country, you got soccer, you got some of the tennis programs picking up. You got golf. Golf. What a great time of the year! <laughs> yeah, there's so many sports in the fall. Cow. It's really exciting. It's a great way to get started with a 2010-2011 school year, and uh, we're going to document those schools, coaches, players as we go along on talking sports this year. I'm sure we'll have a lot of good things to cover this year. It's going to be great. Hey, good to see you, my friend. Let's you go too. to next week. Maybe we'll stop by a football practice and see what's going on. Okay? Sounds like fun, as long as I don't put the pads on myself. I don't know. You never know what's <laughs> going to happen around here on your favorite program called Talking Sports. Talkin Sports.